And then how the students are selected or nominated and what kind of awards they will be uh, given. First, it's really not called selection. Uh, it's called nomination because some local section do not even give the test. They just nominate a few students. But the most local sections, as I know, they nominate students based on their performances in the local exam. But uh, as I mentioned before, there is no certain kind of, you know, unique or universal cutoff line for all of the local sections. It varies. So some local sections are kind of more competitive. So they typically have a relative high, you know, cutoff line. So now say 50 or 55 out of 60, right? Uh, but most of them kind of have a kind of 40 or even lower than 40. So it really depends. And as I mentioned, some local sections even provide a kind of extra exam to bind these two parts, right? Just for them to choose the best students, because if the competition is very strong, very rigorous, the difficulty in the local exam sometimes is not enough to differentiate the strongest students. Uh, for national, uh, first I want to emphasize those formula here is not official, uh, but we are pretty much sure this is the fact, especially based on the experience of last school year, the first, you know, uh, online USNCO, we kind of, you know, further confirm, you know, this formula. So the top 150 students, more accurately should be the top 51 to the 150, so they will be awarded as the honors uh, award. But only their part one in the national exam will be considered. And actually, probably only the, their part one, only the part one will be graded. So their part two or part three probably will be kind of just, you know, uh, discard. And then is the top 50 they will be awarded a high honor. So there is a formula, so very interesting. So the power one, now say in total is 60 points, right? It will be multiplied by five over four. So if I didn't calculate wrong, uh, it will be 72.5 uh, or 75. Yeah, 75. It will be 75 minute, uh, points. And then part two, the original score is 100 points. So, so basically, for those students, these two parts will be considered, and their ranking is based on this formula. So as you can see, part two is slightly more important than part one, right? And then for the campus, the top 20, there is a kind of a similar equation. You need to add the part three as well. So the part three originally is 50 points, but it will be multiplied by one half, and then it gives out 25 points. So in total, for the top 20 students, the total credit is 200 points. So I, probably you realize the lab part is not so important in the kind of overall equation. So it's only, 25 points out of 200 points, right? Uh, a little bit more than 